hi <laughs> hello welcome back to another vlog i am so excited to be sharing this with you guys i'm so excited that you're here so for the past like six months actually a little more than six months we started this project back in april we have been working on this new product for confident and kind it is this beautiful mug right here this is going to be launching this thursday november 10th at 9 a.m pacific time confidentandkind.com and i am i'm just so incredibly proud of this piece. It has been an absolute labor of love with my lovely friend Madeline. She's the amazing ceramics artist who handcrafted each of these pieces. So in this vlog, I want to share with you guys some of the footage that we've taken showing the behind the scenes of how this mug came to be. Taking it all the way back to July. I think that's where we're going to start. Welcome back to another vlog. Now that I uh, unplopped my hair, this angle's a little too tall, so there we go. Perfect. Good morning. I am getting my day started here. I got a TikTok up, did a workout, tended to the garden, gonna head upstairs, get some editing done, and uh, have hopefully a good, productive, and fun work day. All right, it is approaching one o'clock. I have been very productive here at my desk. Just ran downstairs to grab a snack. I've got some of the cherry tomatoes from our garden with just feta cheese and olive oil. Um, but I need to. Hold on. I need to make sure I don't have food in my teeth. <laughs> no, but I actually need to uh, just tie up the loose ends with all my computer work here. We're gonna be out of the office for the rest of the day. and I don't think I'm gonna have that much time for like editing and admin work tomorrow either. So just kind of wanna get everything to a good pause point. Um, but today we are heading out to work on a very, very exciting merch project. If you remember my friend Madeline, they are a ceramics artist and instructor so freaking cool and talented and I took one of their classes for the first time at the beginning of this year and I was just really in awe of how cool and creative ceramics is and also just how talented Maddie is and how amazing her creations are. I have bought so many pieces from her shop in the past few months and they're just like some of the most amazing things I own and it got me thinking what if we did some sort of collaboration between Earth and Hand Ceramics, which is Maddie's brand, and Confident and Kind, my merch. Like, could we collaborate together on some small batch of pieces to make something that's special and unique and like a marriage of our two brands while getting to support a local artist who also is one of my oldest friends? So I told Madeline my idea and they were super on board. I told my team, they were super excited. So we are making a limited batch of just a hundred handcrafted, sustainably made, eco-friendly mugs that Maddie is creating in her home studio. So Maddie started by making a bunch of prototypes. I think I have a photo of them like all laid out here. So I'll put it up on the screen. We ended up going with this sort of bubble style. It's also like a big mug. Like it fits so much liquid inside, which I love. And then I had this idea in my head of like a mountain range with like, be kind to your body, be kind to the planet, be kind to others written on the peaks. This was my very crude drawing that I did in our first meeting. And we worked with our Confident and Kind graphic designer, Tara. She is an amazing artist. We work with her to take this and turn it into this, which I am obsessed with. It's this beautiful like line art mountain landscape with the words, be kind to your body, be kind to others, be kind to the planet, arching over the mountains. And not only do I just love the look of this design, I love the message. And I think it's gonna be such a, a great way to start my day, you know, reaching for that mug, making my coffee, living those words. So we had custom, uh, they're called transfers made with, the design on them. That way they can be pressed into the mug during the firing process. So it's like super permanent. Those just got delivered a couple days ago and Maddie started the production process on some of the mugs a couple weeks ago. So things are happening. And today we are going over 
to Madeline's house, to their home studio. We're gonna check out the pieces so far, see the process, maybe, maybe even get on the wheel a little bit ourselves. Kenzie and Jess and Jaden are all here working today too, so we're all gonna go together. I am so excited. Okay, we're in Maddie's home studio. Hello. <laughs> Hello. The artist herself. It me. Oh. Oh my gosh. Is this the first batch? Yes. Yeah, those are about to go in the kiln, so they're first firing. I can't believe it's happening. Whoa. We're doing this. Seriously, it's so cool. Kenzie getting that TikTok B-roll. These are the transfers right here. It's like literally paper. It's so cool. And then it just presses into the mug. The mug. That's so cool. Okay, so Madeline is going to give us a little walkthrough of the process. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, it's a really cool process. Like so so many steps like yeah I think so many people just don't realize that about ceramics how many steps there are involved so it's really cool to be able to show a little bit of the the behind the, scenes. the behind the scenes the behind the mug yes. <laughs> so this space for me is usually like my prepping station it's where I'll um, wedge out the clay weigh it on my cute little scale <laughs> this is my fun little bucket of clay that I've prepped for us today Ooh. Um, and this area here is kind of where all the magic happens this is my handy dandy wheel this is where I actually throw the mug form itself as well as trim it up, which is when you come back to it when it's dried a little bit and kind of take some clay off the bottom. And that's when um, you add the handle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll basically trim it and then go put the handles on. But most of my time is sitting at this wheel. These are kind of all my shelves where things live. I have clay. This is all like what the clay looks like. This is like another little workstation for me. This is kind of where like I do my glazing. For these mugs, I'm gonna be making this glaze here. Um, it's a powder that I'll basically add water to and dip the mugs inside. So this is a, an electric kiln. It basically is a top loading oven. Um, it can get as hot as 2600 degrees. Each piece of pottery gets fired two times. So these are actually loaded in getting ready for their first firing. That's what I'll be doing with those over there. And then once those are fully cooled down, then I can unload them and glaze. So far I've made about 20 mugs. Um, those are waiting for their first firing. And uh, today we're gonna be throwing some <laughs> together, Yay. me and Sierra, showing you guys how we put the transfers on. Uh, so really excited to show you the process. All right, so this is our fresh box of clay. It's our speckled bee mix. Grab our bag and slice it up, weigh it, and get it kind of ready to be thrown. Is that how you know how to make the mugs like similar size as the weight? Yeah, that's of it? really important. These are gonna start out being like 1.6 pound, okay. one pound, six ounces. Right? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I just look at this, the little line. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. 1.6. Perfect. So cool that like you take this and turn it into this, but then this isn't even like the final. Nope. Because this is not glazed. So the final product is like more like glossy, right? Yeah. So yeah. cool. So cool. And this just makes the clay, it softens it up so that when we're throwing, it's like it's pliable. Easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's now the first thing I'm going to do with this clay is cone it up tall, really squeezing. And the reason we do this is to help get the clay centered, help the clay get moving. It's like warming up for a workout. Down. Water is really important here because otherwise the clay will stick to you and be too dry. So now I'm going to get the rest of those wobbles out and center it. And I really have to get the base measurement actually perfect. So this is my little like measurement here. So this is like Ooh. way too narrow. So I'm gonna come back and push this guy way down. That's kind of how we get that like curvy base that then goes up and in for our for the our like shape. bubble at yeah, exactly. the bottom. That's so so cool. the base has to be just right. Now I'm gonna drop into the middle, make my floor. But I always like to check my depth so that I don't go too thin down there. This tool here is gonna help keep the floor nice and compressed so that it doesn't crack down below. We don't get little bubbles. Now we get to start our poles. This is where I get the height and the shape. And then from this point, I'll kind of start doing some shaping. So I'll use this tool to kind of get all up on this edge here, make it nice and smooth. Wow. So, <laughs> wow. That's it, done. I'll grab my little wire guy, wire straight through. Wow. Back to the tee. All right, I'm getting ready to throw. Oh, woo! All right, Perfect. so should I give it, give it a spin? Yes. 
minutes and then we're gonna do the first thing the coning so give it lots of water drop your elbows and really squeeze in perfect yeah it's going up into the cone Well, whoever gets this one, I made it, kind of, mostly with Maddie's help, but. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a little heart on the bottom of this one, so if you buy one of these mugs in November, check the bottom, see, see who gets this one. <laughs> okay, so we just threw four mugs. These are gonna sit out for a little bit. Maddie said usually like a day or so, um, but we have some that are like at that stage in the process that Maddie started a couple days ago that are ready for the transfers. So these are basically glaze ink that have has been screen printed onto a piece of like newsprint. So obviously it's backwards <laughs> because <laughs> we're gonna like do the mirror image, but we gotta get this guy cut out and ready to put on. So. Okay. So we have our mug that is this like leather heart and then these are a little bit unique these transfers because they require slip which is wet clay so like when we're throwing and we have all that goo that slip. I will line up the transfer and I'm gonna sort of mark my spot with the slip. And I'll peel this guy off and I am going to brush on the slip. Oh, like in that whole range that you just marked. Yeah and I'm gonna spray the paper. It's the exact same spray bottle I use for my hair. It's so nice. Sometimes when I'm in here and it's really hot, I'm just like, like I'm, so maybe like draw back a little bit so it yeah can like miss the whole thing. And then I'm gonna set this on this board here, right side up. And then from here, you don't want to move it at all. Just like if you move it, it'll smudge. Right. So then I'll start kind of pressing, and so I'm wanting that ink to adhere to the clay. Um, so from here, I'll pretty much set it aside, but I'll start doing other things to it, like um, smoothing it, kind of trying to get air bubbles out here. So I uh, painted on a layer of slip just to see if it would help take the ink off the mountains. I'm do a little check here, and I think it's gonna be ready. Okay, so let's yeah, peel it. it. <gasps> wow, so neat. Yeah, that looks so beautiful. Yeah. Can I hold it? Yes, of course. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's a baby. Can't you just imagine me like with my morning coffee just... And then the last touch before this goes in the kiln, we got a custom stamp made that says Sierra Schultz X Earth and Hand Ceramics. So when you press it into the bottom, it becomes this. So we're <laughs> using ink. It's a lot like the transfers where it's going to be fired on there. Any technique before I, I do it? I would just dig in. Okay. Like really roll it around and kind of get... And then you kind of have to do the same thing on the bottom of the mug. I'm nervous. Ooh! Mm, came out good. Yay! That looks so cool. And at this stage, this is when it's ready to get loaded into the kiln. Okay. And all of these ones here are ready for the kiln, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. And is the kiln ready for them? The kiln has never been more ready. <laughs> for the first okay, fire. let's do it. Yes. Okay. All right. We're getting ready to load these babies into the kiln for their bis firing. What's really cool about the bis firing is that everything can touch each other because the clay is just raw. So we can fit a lot more mugs in a bis firing versus the glaze firing. Nothing can touch each other because the glaze will like melt together basically. Right. Right now I've already loaded half the kiln with some other pieces. Um, so let's just continue on loading here. So this is an electric kiln that's automatic. So I don't have to like do anything while it's firing. I basically choose my firing, which is cone 404. It's going to fire really slow. So we get that really given that clay time to dry out, enter, and then start it. There, there it goes. goes. 
Wow. Yeah. So we came back a few weeks later to do the glazing on this batch of the mugs. And I know, I know I vlogged this. I can picture the footage in my head, but unfortunately it's just nowhere to be found. I don't know what happened to it. Super bummed about that. But luckily we were also filming on my iPhone, like some vertical footage. So I do have that to show you here. So I'm gonna play some of that now. So I'm gonna get a nice grip with my tongs. And I'm going to just go in real quick and pull right out. Yeah. So good. It's like a beauty blender. I was literally thinking the same thing. I'm like, dab, don't wipe. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the glazing is just so satisfying to me. I have such a fun time doing it. And also something that's pretty hard to mess up. So I, it was a good thing for me to participate in. I wasn't too stressed about messing everything up. And also while we were there, we got to check out a batch of mugs that had just fully finished their second fire in the kiln. And that was just like such a milestone moment in this process. This was my first time seeing one of the mugs fully finished and I it just came out even better than I could have imagined. So Madeline spent the next few months working on these mugs piece by piece, step by step, handcrafting every single one. I think that's gotta be my favorite part about the mugs for me is just how each one was handmade with such like intention and artistry. You know, because they're handmade, every single mug is one of a kind. They're all unique. They all have their own character and their own differences. And Madeline just did such a phenomenal job with these. So Madeline finished the last batch of the mugs in October. So a couple weeks ago, we got together to take some pictures for the launch. I'm gonna overflow it. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm scared. I'm excited. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Oh my God. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Pour it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh. oh. Wait, that looks, that so, looks good. so good. That looks so good. Oh, oh my gosh. God. Yes. This was just such like a, a celebratory moment for us of like, we did it. We're here. You know, we're doing this photo shoot. And this was the last big thing that we had to do before we're ready for the launch. And to get to work on something like this with a friend who I've known for so many years is just really special. So we got our photos done and then we used them to make a card to show the mugs a little bit, talk about the process of creating them. Them, got those printed and then I signed all of them. So if you order a mug, you're also gonna get one of these signed cards with it. I actually just shipped these out to our merch partners warehouse like a couple days ago. So we are officially ready to launch. We work with DFTBA on our merch. They're also a small business and they're based out of Montana. So Maddie shipped out the mugs to them and then I shipped the cards. So everything is in warehouse. It is ready to ship. So once we open for orders on Thursday, the DFTBA team there is gonna be fulfilling all of them. I absolutely love them. The, the people at DFTBA are just fantastic. So they do our order fulfillment, customer service. They also help us with like product listing, sourcing. So like the, the transfers that we used to press in um, the design on the mug, they helped us get those printed and ready to go. And another cool thing about DFTBA is they actually donate over 90% of their profits to charity. So like they, they all take a cut of the sales of these mugs and the profit of that cut is gonna be donated to charity as well. So each B kind mug holds 16 to 18 ounces. It is a big ass mug. <laughs> really though, like this is, if you wanna make like a fancy drink with like all the whipped cream and stuff, this is gonna hold it. Ryan is very excited to drink soup out of this mug. <laughs> when we were working out the price of this mug and realized how expensive the production was gonna be, we were like, okay, let's, let's make these like really nice, big oversized mugs. That way you get lots of bang for your buck. <laughs> so the Be Kind mug retails for $75 and also includes includes the signed card. And for each mug that's sold, we're gonna be donating $5 to Earth Justice, which is a nonprofit fighting against the climate crisis. Definitely a premium price. I totally understand, you know, that is not as accessible as our past launches. But with the, the time intensive process of making these pieces and just the amazing craftsmanship and artistry that Madeline put into them, I wanna make sure that she is fairly compensated for that and that everyone involved with the production is compensated fairly which drives up the price and then, you know, wanting to focus on high quality
quality materials, sustainability, that also increases our price. This is the first of two small business collaborations though that we're doing for this holiday season. The second one we're announcing in a couple weeks and it is a lower price point. So, so be looking out for that. Um, and just working on these small business collaborations has been so cool, so rewarding. I kind of view it as like the, the next evolution of my small business hauls. And I think the, the end result, the end product is just spectacular and one of kind. Oh my gosh, my voice just cracked. That was like the first time my voice has cracked in this whole filming spiel. Oh, we made it. I did not, I did not know if my voice was going to give out. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, I, I talked about this a little bit there, but I've been recovering from a sinus infection and I, my voice is just like so hoarse and worn out. Finally feeling better though. I actually tried to, to sit down and film this yesterday and the way my voice sounds now where it's like kind of scratchy and cracky that this is the way it sounded after like literally 30 seconds of filming yesterday. So I decided to, to pause, try again today and here we are, it worked out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I have uh, a couple more vlogs in the pipeline for this week and next week, two of which are gonna be the vlogs we filmed at Disney World last month. So I'm very excited to finally be sharing that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Love you, bye.